country music. Oh, oh, oh my god. <laughs>did you have anything fun going on maybe a quarantine birthday that you were celebrating uh, maybe a little pool time I feel like I keep going back to my parents to use their pool um, and I've, I've been seeing them a lot so it's kind of been nice and we'll just hang out and social distance obviously because I know some people will judge so yeah um so it's been nice um that they have that but it's kind of funny real quick i'll tell you um just with the neighbors that my parents have my mom actually set up a little schedule yeah yeah so the neighbors have like specific times they can sign up for because obviously like none of the pools around uh, where my parents live um, back in north wales um you know nothing is open and if they are open, then it's kind of done to go, I feel like. There's too many people who want that. Here, you have your own time. You know, it's very private. You know what I'm saying? So it's kind of nice that my mom was able to do that for everyone. Um, so anywho, um, do I have any walk updates, you ask? I don't. I don't. It's been so hot out. Um, I've still been, you know, taking my breaks and stuff like that, like, during work, but nothing, I haven't, I don't know, I feel like no one's, like, outside either, because it's too hot. <laughs> um, I feel like I see more people out, maybe a little bit more, like, after work, um, but, yeah, I, I haven't, I can't even tell you, like, one thing. I typically, like, will write it down real quick, so then... I can share with you guys, but I don't have anything, so maybe next week, um, but I do want to just mention a couple things. If you haven't subscribed already, please do Spotify, iTunes, Apple Podcasts, you know, that's the same thing, um, and Google Podcasts, and really, you know, what that does is subscribe. You're going to get all of my updates, so when you see my new episode being released every Tuesday, you're going to get that notification, notification, you're going to realize like, hey, the big Dane, what's up, you know, like she has something new, like if you can't remember or keep track of like when I, um, you know, have the latest and greatest episode out, um, then that's what the subscribe button is for, so it kind of does you a favor there, um, please leave a review on iTunes, Apple Podcasts, would love to hear your feedback and um, you know, if you enjoy it, obviously if you don't enjoy it, then don't listen <laughs> and I don't want any negative comments for my review. That would just be horrendous. So I'll leave it to you if you could think about it, but I'm still always, always going to encourage it. Um, and then towards the end, um, be sure to still tune in. I'm going to start to do a couple little like fun facts about myself so you guys can just get to me know like get, hello, get to know me a little bit better, right? So, you know, you hear me, you, you see my posts on Instagram and Facebook and things like that, but, you know, I mean, you can, I share with you so much in 30 minutes and it's very quick, at least for me, I feel like it flies by and talking in the beginning and boom, it's like 29 minutes, I'm like, oh shit, I gotta wrap this up for you, you know, so... So yeah, just tune in and I'll give you some fun facts about myself that you haven't heard yet. So yeah. So anyway, um, today we're getting into, wish I could sing, um, summer concerts and festivals 
And you know why? Because we can't go to them right now. So I just want to share with you some experiences that I've had and just things that I love um, about the summer and going to a concert or a festival and just enjoying that time. Um, it really stinks, you know, with, with the time right now. It's like summer is so different, you know. It's so different than what we're used to. And you know what? That's fine. But I think we're all allowed to share and, you know, just um, share our, our feelings and emotions about, hey, we're missing this this summer, right? We're missing our favorite artists, our favorite festivals, even like the smaller festivals. Maybe it's not even music related, you know? Um, you know, at, at this time during the summer, I probably would have gone to like a handful of things, especially just going down um, to the city, you know, in Philly and um, just going to like food festivals, right? Just just kind of anything. So it's just kind of interesting. But hey, we're hanging through this and I hope everyone is doing well and mentally just hanging in. Um, so what I wanted to share with you, you may have seen this on my Instagram. I posted this last week for a throwback pic, um, of CMA Fest. Uh-huh. You know what I'm talking about? It was 2016 and it's hard to believe it's already been four years ago. So me, um, and it, it was, uh, my friend Lori. So I'm not like giving a name away cause you already saw her name in the post. <laughs> so Lori, her dad at the time was living in Nashville for work and we're like, hey, like, let's let's do this. Let's go to Nashville. Let's do CMA Fest. We'll see your dad. We'll hang out. And we even got to see her sister, too. Her sister joined us. Um, Lisa. <laughs> so it was so much fun did you ever have a moment where maybe you're going to some sort of event and you know it's going to be good but you're really not sure like how things are going to play out like if things are going to go the way you think they are um but i have to say like when i was going into this i'm like this is going to be a good time right but dude it was one of the best times I've ever had, especially for country music. And I'll preface this in that um, I didn't always like country music. No, I didn't. So it was actually uh, my ex from college that got me into it. And even then, like I still like was trying to feel it out and understand it because I just I didn't grow up with it and so I think just not being exposed I just didn't know enough so once I started to get exposed in my college college years and I still loved it like after college and I still obviously love it today and it was so much fun it was the best time uh, I would definitely go back even if I'm not going to CMA Fest I would just go back to Nashville and explore. Um, so this festival, it was four days. And I don't know if you've ever been to Nashville or not, but um, so the CMA Fest, it typically happens in June. Holy hell, it was so hot. <laughs> like, you know, we have all the humidity here, whatever. And there it was 90 and dry heat. But it was great weather, so I couldn't complain. But... It was just, you know, it's a different kind of heat that you're getting. Um, but it's like you're literally like you're hanging out by like the riverfront and listening to music, having a great time. And mind you, like some of these concerts, like they would start early. I want to say it was like 9 a.m. So Lori and I, like we would just plan it out like, hey, like I think we want to go check them out. Like, oh, we haven't like seen them or even heard of this person before. Like, let's ch go check it out. So we would kind of like find a spot and just hang like all day but with the heat it's like your sweat is literally like pouring out you know and it's like you're drinking a beer and it's just like the beer is just like going out like through your pores and you're sweating all of it out and 
honestly, like I didn't drink that much during the day just because I know I had to hydrate. It's a long day. It's, we have a long night ahead of us. And that's the way it was like each day because during the day it was like, all right, you have so many um, stages to go to, you know, in the surrounding area and there's just so much to see and do. And then at night it was the bigger artists. So, excuse me. Oh my gosh, every time. Sorry, guys. <laughs> um, but every time I'm also usually drinking some beer. So, cheers. Just got to wet my whistle. <laughs> uh, I'm just getting a little dry there. So, so yeah. So, one of the nights, like, I don't think I did. I didn't drink enough water, I don't think. And I just felt so sick later. And it wasn't because I was, like, wasted. It was just because I was dehydrated. And so, the next day, then I, like, took it easy. But, I don't know. I don't do well. I feel like I get dehydrated easily when I'm outside like for that long and it's that hot like my body is just like what the hell (laughs) like what are you doing because I typically drink so much water like throughout the day like on a um on a daily basis so then to like really change that up it's like dude hello what are you doing but it was so cool. We would go around like to one stage by the riverfront and there was like all these vendors on Broadway, which was like the main strip and like all the restaurants and all the shops. And it was so fun. And then you would kind of walk down further, like going to the convention center, all those vendors around there and then other stages where you can listen to music. So it was just like music everywhere. It was insane. Um But, I mean, that's what it's all about. I mean, have you ever gone to a music festival where there wasn't, like, you know, any music in the next 10 feet? (laughs) That would be kind of weird. Like, like, what what kind of festival am I at? (laughs) Um, But some of the vendors, like, we got, and I still have it, I'm pretty sure, um like free koozies this was the first time i saw this so what you're about to hear may be new it may be old but i'm gonna share so they had a doritos truck um nom 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 like what a 90s snack first of all a classic snack some doritos so you know what they did they made it into this walking taco so like now the bag if you can picture a doritos bag is now like opened up into like so say it's like more like long way so like if you turn it so now it's like horizontal you would carry around like that and then you'd have your taco in there it was amazing and i'm pretty sure it was free like we would stand in line for like all the free shit we're like yeah let's do it let's do it (laughs) um so it was pretty great but um yeah and then because it was so hot out, like we took a little break and went over to the convention center, um, which was pretty neat. And they had even the artists were in there. So you could, you know, um, find the lineup or whatnot and the schedule and, and head over there to maybe cool off because, um, you know, you wanted to get some AC in, in your body. <laughs> and uh and take it all in so um yeah you could just literally like stand around and and watch this new and upcoming artist or whoever and then there's like like um like clothing vendors and whatnot so and we went in so when we were in the convention center we went into this like bud light it's kind of like a camper truck rv situation and i was like wow where are we and um pretty cool so i don't know if maybe the bud light truck just kind of goes around from different festivals or or what but honestly if you have not gone to nashville cma fest and you are a country fan i highly recommend i would even say bottom line the vibe down there in general is just incredible that southern hospitality it's truly unreal like up here in philly in the northeast like everyone's so uptight no one gives a shit 
like you're walking down the street no one is waving to you like saying hi like all right maybe like one or two every like six months but I mean really everyone's just like has a stick up their ass and like I need to get from from point a to point b in like 30 seconds like I don't have time to talk to no one right and I mean yeah come on people like you can't be nice for like two minutes of my entire day like do you have somewhere to be I don't think so so yeah it's just it's such a different world I mean that's what's like interesting about you know United States in general like sure like we're all American but like among amongst all the states it's really it's all different cultures and that's what's pretty cool right like we live on the east coast like what about the west coast like is it more relaxed you know or even you know down in florida and whatnot are they more relaxed because they're near the beach you know things like that it's just it's so different and everyone's accent in nashville it's just charming you know it's a charming accent it's it's comfort and everyone says hello is very polite like where did they learn this? <laughs> like, couldn't they have sent someone like up here to say, all right, people, this is how you're going to be brought up. And yeah, right. Like, or if we lived in a perfect world, which we don't. Um, but one other thing that I kept seeing around the festival were um, like cowboy boot shops. Yeah. Yeah. And it's crazy how expensive they are and I kind of knew a little bit just from my friend being with me like she had gotten cowboy boots um maybe it was uh for a birthday present or or whatnot and she was telling me how expensive they are I'm like what like I had no idea but I guess you know if you're getting real leather right some genuine leather as opposed to this fake shit um yeah, then it's going to be expensive. It's kind of like a leather jacket as opposed to getting like a fake, fake leather jacket. So, but they were, it's so amazing to see that, you know, obviously you don't see that around here where there's like a specific shop in, in Conchi that sells cowboy boots. Like, no, it's because we're not, we're not in those Southern states. Um, and while I do have a pair of, of cowboy boots, I got them at DSW. What's up? I love DSW. Uh, best buy ever. And I've gotten some great compliments on it. Someone actually told me or asked me rather like, oh, are those um, are those real cowboy boots? I'm like, oh, no. Um, but I feel like the only time I can wear them is like, um, probably two, two times out of the year. One would be Halloween, which is what are the chances that I'm a cowgirl, right? Slim to none. And then the second time would be for a country concert. Yeah. So needless to say, they've just been in my closet I actually thought about breaking them out like in quarantine maybe I'll just wear them down the street so if you see me walking around you see some girl in in cowboy boots you know it's the big dane yeah I will say oh speaking of this because it just came to my mind while I was wearing them because it was so hot like I couldn't wear them <laughs> so I would wear them on the river riverfront because we had like our blankets and um you know all of our stuff we could just like put on the grass I had to take them off yeah dude it got so sweaty like I think I'm already a sweaty person to begin with and then to put on you know fucking cowboy boots like that are going up like more than halfway my calf like I might as well be wearing pants right (laughs) so Anywho, I don't know if anyone else wears them other times other than country concerts, but that's me. And it was just, yeah, one, just one of the best times um, that I had and and to spend it and experience it with a good friend. Um, But, and we would try to go out, like, 
at the end of the night. So like we did our, our small concert during the day. It was amazing. And then at night, like you had the bigger artists, uh, like Luke Bryan, um, uh, God, I'm blanking. Luke Bryan, <laughs> Chris Young. Oh God. Um, Keith Urban is what I wanted to say. And I kept picturing his face and, just wasn't coming to the forefront of my brain so yeah and so then after that by the time they're all done it's like probably 11 o'clock and we have been out literally the entire day I mean who has energy to do anything after that not me but we would go out and like we'd probably get like two drinks and like be toast like all right let's go home because we have to do all this over again you know the next day it's just a lot you know like to just do like the same thing over and over like I'm just spent and like like I said before like you know, when I get tired and my face, you know, that chronic bitch face, it just starts to creep up. Yeah. So you can just imagine that. Um, but Nashville is such a fun, such a fun city. Um, and honestly, you can go anywhere, like minus the festival, listen to live music anywhere. Yeah. It's that, it's that cool. It's that cool. But I will say back in Philly, I do uh, like to go to at least one country concert during the summer. If not, I try to go um, twice. If, but um, not all my friends enjoy country music. So this is the other thing. They're like, oh, country music. Oh, oh, oh my God. Like fucking relax. You know, why don't you fucking try and listen to it, right? Oh, you can see I'm getting a little heated about it. But seriously, if you don't, if you listen to like, you know, something that has a lot of twang and you listen to it once and you only listen to one artist. Okay, don't talk to me then. Try branching out. Try listening to it, right? Like, put yourself out there. Take some risks with your music. <laughs> um. So, yeah, I... I can only ask certain people to go with me because I know they'll enjoy it. I don't want to have to like worry about other people that don't enjoy it and now I have to hype them up. No, thank you. Um, what I did see in the past couple of years and I haven't gone to yet, and this is newer, is the Country Festival in Chester County, the Citadel Country Spirit uh, music festival I don't know if anyone has been but if you have gone please let me know this looks so much fun I even like was just checking like recently and obviously it's not happening because of COVID so postponed obviously next year which we'll see um but yeah you can buy I think you know maybe one ticket for or like a one-day ticket or for the whole thing so it's pretty cool um but other than that like I would just see who's playing at bb t Pavilion or if, they're, if, if I don't really see anyone that I really like, then I'll see if they're playing in Allentown or Bethlehem and do it that way. My throat is just getting so dry, guys. My goodness. Um, but I will say, I thought my first country concert was going to be T-Swift. Because when I started to listen to country music, this is when she still had her stuff out. So I'm kind of bummed, but I have seen T-Swift. So just saying. And shout out to her new uh, music. Ooh, 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 ooh. Anywho, so I think actually, if I think about it, I think my first country concert was Luke Bryan. Yo, if you have not seen him in concert, you have to. He's so good. He's such a great entertainer, great performer. I mean, just hands down, like, best. Absolute best. He just, he knows how to have a good time. He knows how to get your attention and really enjoy yourself, you know? Um... I mean, that's why he's won so many, like, 
awards for entertainment entertainer of the year i mean that's why and i feel like going to a concert where he's playing and then you go to a concert with someone else like maybe it's just as in is holy shit just isn't that like hyped up or like has that same energy it's it's a little different you get a different vibe you know oh i saw dirk Bentley, and i love him like i love his music i saw him actually with Lori too um when i when she was still living in dc and he was great i love him he's a great artist i love the music um everything he puts out i love i don't know if you have an artist like that that you enjoy and it's literally like every single song you're like oh my god oh shit i just god i thought i'm thought the microphone just dropped it didn't it didn't um but he i don't know at least when i saw him and this must have been around the same time frame maybe like four or five years ago and he's he's just not um yeah (laughs) you get the idea but you know you have your people up there and they're just kind of bopping and i'm like okay cool i guess but um, I guess recently in the past two years, I saw Jason Aldean, which is very awesome. And who opened for him um, was Luke Holmes, who I love. Like, he's so great. Um, and then, let's see, last year. So this was in upstate New York. I was visiting my cousins. And just down the street for them, um, they have they're like very close to like a concert venue and we saw a little big town so yeah i was honestly a little bummed because they didn't play that long i mean can anyone attest to that and like you're expecting like so many other songs we played and like wow like it's seven (laughs) o'clock um no they were great but i was just i thought that and i was anticipating they'd be playing for like at least two hours and it wasn't even two hours so i was a little bummed but hey i'm glad i saw them. it was a, an, an awesome time um it's very hot i remember we were like sweating our asses off and it was humid up there so there you have it but I want to hear all about your concerts, um, if they're country or they're not. Um, I hope I didn't lose any listeners because of all my country talk. But honestly, if you if you haven't listened to any country, give it a try. I mean, nowadays it's it's kind of intermixed with like pop. So while you may think of like oh Johnny Cash and like old school stuff, like it's very different. So and I don't know, I just I relate to a lot of what, you know, they're they're writing about in their songs. And it's just it's an easy listen. It's it's nice to listen outside and have a beer, you know, and just relax. Um oh and at the very beginning of my podcast I think it was actually the pilot episode and I was telling you guys about my Dan and Shay concert. So I was supposed to go and then the fucking pandemic like just took it out because my mom and I were going to go to the Wells Fargo, which would have been amazing. And my mom, I'll tell you this, that she doesn't like country music. So this was actually a duo that she was like, oh, yeah, I can get down with this. Like, oh, I've heard of them. I was like, oh, you have? (laughs) So there you have it. And I'm supposed to see them, which I don't think I'm going to see them, although I haven't heard anything. But it got rescheduled for end of September. So... I I still can't see that happening. I mean, we're like two months out. Yeah, so stinks. But it is what it is. I mean, one day, right? So, anywho. All right, are you ready for my fun facts? Dun, da, da, da. So, fun fact. I am getting a tat, otherwise known as a, a tattoo, in October. Mm-hmm. And it's booked. It is in the calendar. Boom, 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 boom. Yeah, but really, it's it's booked. I'm ready. I'm ready to do it. Yeah, you know what? You can. I'm not gonna even share what 
what it is. So you can ask me, send me a message, or maybe I'll just wait to the next episode to tell you more about it. Mm-hmm. And I guess I was going to give you another quick fun fact about myself. I share my birthday with my best friend, February 1st. Where are my Aquarians at? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Put your hands up. Put your, put your hands up. Okay. All right. I'll give you some like five seconds back um, to the episode. Excuse me. Last, excuse me, of the episode. Um, but hope you enjoyed it. Um, tell me about your festivals, country music or not. You know, I think we're all missing it, you know, and having a virtual music festival, it's just, I don't even think it exists. <laughs> and it's just not as fun because I don't want to be in my car. I can't dance. I can't dance in my car. You know how much I like to dance, please. But anywho, be sure to subscribe so you can get those updates from Spotify, iTunes, Apple Podcasts. And for my Google folks, uh, Google Podcasts. And check out my coffee page. That is K-O-F-I. And all that information is on my website. So if you just want to listen.